Major developments involving the legal case against the San Antonio Spurs and one of its former players. Josh Primo's accuser has dropped the team from her lawsuit. Let's bring in Ken's Five reporter Hannah Tita. Hannah, what are the Spurs saying tonight? You see, the San Antonio Spurs are responding through a statement saying they are taking steps to prevent alleged uh, sexual harassment in the future. If you remember last month, a psychologist came forward claiming Primo had flashed her multiple times and the franchise did nothing. Now an agreement has been reached. The right thing is <clears throat> say no, this is not okay. That was Dr. Hillary Cawthon three weeks ago telling reporters she was failed by the San Antonio Spurs. She accused the team's former guard, Josh Primo, of exposing himself during one of their first sessions. Dr. Cawthon said she spoke up and was silenced as the incidents continued. The Spurs cut the first round pick in October. It took the Spurs 10 months to do the right thing. On November 3rd, Dr. Cawthon brought a lawsuit against the team and Primo. On November 16th, a notice of non-suit was filed to permanently drop the case against the Spurs. Tonight, R.C. Buford claimed the organization is and has taken the situation seriously. The Spurs CEO said, quote, as an organization, we are continuing evaluating and refining our processes so they ultimately reflect the values and culture of who we aspire to be every day. To that end, we have decided to collaborate with Dr. Cawthon and other experts in an effort to review and improve our workplace processes and procedures. Primo isn't out of the spotlight, though his lawyers are saying very little. While Primo is still listed as a defendant in Bear County court records, attorney Tony Busby told us the entire case is over. And in his pregame remarks tonight, coach Greg Popovich gave his vote of confidence to Spurs general manager Brian Wright. Wright was the main point of contact between Dr. Cawthon and the Spurs, and he was directly named in her allegations of mishandling her complaints. Reporting live downtown, Hannah Tita, Ken's 5. Hannah, thank you.